Welcome to Capacity TV. Today we have Peter Hutchings of Colt. Peter, welcome. Does Colt see voice revenue decline as a trend in the global marketplace? Since 2007, we've seen uh, a lot of decline, in, particularly in Europe. So when we're talking about decline here, we're talking not the traffic levels, because the traffic levels year on year are increasing. It's the value per minute. So I remember many years ago, uh, we used to pay five pounds for dialing a, a call to the USA. Now it's half a, half a euro cent. Clearly they're in decline. But what offsets the decline in the total value of the market is the number of new services, new operators in the market, and opportunities to make voice calls from your PC, from the mobile phones, uh, from the iPads, etc. Um, that means that whilst the value per minute is going down, the total value is being maintained by the increase in the volume of traffic on the networks. And would you say that this is part of the evolution of voice models on the whole? Yeah, I think that a regulator, uh, it's, it, it's part of the natural uh, desire of the regulator and the need for uh, pressure on prices for the consumer. And you can see that certainly with the business destinations. So USA, Europe, uh, the price per minute is around you know, one cent, half a cent. If you look at other parts of the world, um, many of the countries in the world use their, the uh, telecoms uh, traffic or revenues from telecoms as part of their export product. So they're less regulated. Um, and there is still significant value in, in those minutes. But there tends to be a, a, a move, certainly within the wholesale level, to try and switch more international traffic uh, in the Middle East, uh, in Africa, um, South America, rather than the home domestic traffic, which is virtually valueless and completely congests the network. Colt has always been a traditional provider of services but they've now started to move into the ICT and technology space. Why is that? Well, it's a similar story for data as for voice. Is data has become as commoditized as voice. So many competitors uh, within our footprint. Um, that if we continue to only offer point-to-point -point pipes, if you like, that we'll continue to see the, the profits drop, the top line falling, as we're under considerable price pressure. So Colt, in... Uh, the past uh, two years, it rebranded itself to Colt Technology Services rather than Colt Telecom for the sole aim of developing uh, cloud-based services, managed services, to add value to the core network. So what we're selling to customers is a network-based solution to replace their own uh, in-house DIY solutions. And that's the reason for Colt moving across. So we're trying to align ourselves more with the technology sector than with the telecom sector to uh, inspire customers to come to us uh, for those type of services. Is this becoming a global trend in telecoms now? Well, in discussion with other carriers, where there is a common view, which is that the market is tending towards uh, unified communications, so providing voice data um, of a, a common platform. Um, and five years out, I would expect uh, every customer to have the option of any one of those services from single access pipe, hence Colt focusing on developing a managed services program. Aside from Europe, what are your interests in Asia, the Middle East, Africa? As you're aware, I manage the voice trading business, so uh, wholesale voice. We're finding it more and more difficult to develop uh, a customer base in Europe. Therefore, um, with the benefits of IP and the ability to reach further for less, less cost, it means we can access uh, other operators within the Middle East, within Africa, um, more or less for the same cost as accessing other carriers within Europe now. So it makes, uh, at a, a competitive level, it makes the Middle East very attractive to us at a voice level. That's our opening point. The second point is many of the multinational customers that are in Europe are increasingly here. We have the World Cup in Qatar coming up. We have many of the big multinationals in Dubai. And we're looking to collaborate more with uh, some partner operators within the Middle East. And that's specifically how we would aim to have a richer relationship with Middle Eastern carriers, starting off with voice and then 
um, building up that relationship by selling more complicated services, more solution-based services to multinationals with corporate networks. Peter, thanks for your time. You're welcome.